<clears throat> Good evening. This is Hampooch with an important announcement before we can begin tonight's episode of Judge Dredd. Now, as many of you know, Judge Dredd is a pinnacle of integrity and discipline, and as such, he would never sell his name or endorse a product simply to make a profit. Dredd doesn't sell out. He wouldn't give in to make a quick buck. I want you all to get up and look into a mirror right now and ask yourself that same question. Do you have that same kind of integrity? Could you make the same self-sacrifice that Judge Dredd makes every day in choosing dignity and pride above money? Reflect on this as you watch tonight's episode. And remember, justice comes with a price. And that price is freedom. radio contact with a squad of side judges in Sector 13 docks. They were tracking the dark judges. I'll find them. It's dread. Throw down your weapon. You're under arrest. Welcome back. This is Hampooch. This is level three. I really love the homing bullets. They're actually pretty useful on this level. And I don't know about you, but I sure go for a Red Bull right now. Spend the rest of your natural life in the queue. Right? We're gonna throw away the key. So this level has a lot of resting. Uh, it's got a lot of, I guess, side mission to it. I'm not sure. I don't think you have to do it. Um, like there's a whole bunch of gangs that we have to arrest. And uh, it was mentioned in the thread. Someone asked if there are more missions, like the very first intro to the game, basically, where you start out just arresting a bunch of taggers before shit gets really weird. And I didn't know, because I hadn't actually played this level, but this answer, or this level answers that question with a big resounding yes. Um, we were in a penitentiary fighting, fighting a ton of zombies. And then we're back arresting asshole perps. Just Dread is just really got to prioritize better. Twelve months creep, you blew it. So these are just a bunch of hoodlums in this one little room here. You can either just come inside and shoot them all up or whatever, or you can hit that valve on the outside and it releases some smoke that um, pretty much just stuns them. That is also the same effect as your uh, three grenades, Storm gas or something, Storm, Strom, I'm not too sure. And these little hobos I was trying to arrest, because fuck hobos, but you can't actually arrest them. And obviously if you kill them, your law meter goes down. So here we are at the Joshua block. I really like this, this little graffiti here. Death's coming, that's a pretty sweet looking death poster. So yeah, we're just going through the docks. Um, the side judges... We are looking for side judges, I should say. A bunch of them went missing somewhere down here. And in the process of looking, we are just... murdering and arresting a ton of perps. For seemingly... whatever it is they're doing down here. Just being, being assholes, I guess. Thank you, Hershey. I love the homing bullets. They're so good. So I really, I really show off quite a few of the different ammo types uh, with the Lobbringer. You 
going away for I'll give her. Fuck. Keep calling it different words. But yeah, I show off quite a bit of the ammo types with the lawgiver. Okay. Now we got some generic jet set radio taggers. And I'm using Ricochet because they are really weak bullets. I don't know what it is with the Ricochet. But you can you can shoot someone in the head with the Ricochet bullets a ton of times. I don't know if they do more damage after they rebound off a wall or something, but uh, they are essentially the most useless bullet type. Because direct shots do so little damage, you can shoot a normal human in the head like four or five times before they will actually die uh, with the ricochet bullets. And it's just, they're, they're not worth it at all. And your chance of actually hitting someone with a rebounded shot is pretty slim, unless you're in like a tight hallway. Pretty much every other ammo type is better. And I'm really loving the explosive rounds this level. Problem, of course, being there is not there's not a whole lot of ammo for your lawgiver in this level. And as I mentioned in the first episode, your lawgiver has different um, multipliers for ammo. So you only get eight shots for one round, or for one clip with the explosive ammo. And that sucks, because I, I use explosive ammo like crazy here. And that was just the objective screen. We can see just what we've got to do. There's quite a bit of just wandering around arresting assholes in this level. It's kind of weird, considering it's like Dread just Don't move, creep. kind of raises over the fact that there was just a bunch of vampires all over the city for no reason. Look at how many times I shot that guy, and that was with the rebound bullets. Still didn't kill him. And I was also showing off the uh, incendiary ammo. You're taking the big ride. Hey! You fought the law, and the law won. Using it is actually a very bad idea because it kills your law meter if you use it on humans. Because obviously, lighting people on fire is a bad idea and very unjust. Now, okay, okay. You're gonna spend the rest of your natural life in the cubes. I love these little robots. I don't know what they are. I, I have no clue what they're supposed to be. You're going away for keeps. I want to say they're like Roombas, but they're not nearly as cute as Roombas. You're gonna spend the rest of your natural life in the cubes. I'll put my tags all over that prison cell. Got some big ass vault doors. Or whatever they are. I have no idea what they're supposed to be. A big generator in that room. Help! Health is also pretty, um... pretty hard to come by in this level. There aren't very many health packs that I've been able to find. Death will only make me stronger. Now is not my time. Guys. And... Now we're fighting some Death Cult members. I bow not to you, Lawless One. Lawless One? I am the law. These guys are pretty creepy looking. I actually like them quite a bit. I'm not a big fan of these ones in particular, though. The ones with the machine guns. Although, I will take a machine gun. I was just talking about that in my... arcade mode video. I was like, fuck yeah, I love this gun. And I was hoping that I get it quite a bit in the single player campaign. I was hoping to get it quite the machine gun quite a bit in a single player campaign, and they just throw them at you like candy in this level. Like the main threat of this level is those enemies with the machine gun. Hmm. Looks like we gotta step up our game. 
stop that guy from making the death judges manifest in physical form. But we also have to arrest some, you know, some gangs. Death is coming for you. Gotta prioritize. So we just stumbled on the death cult uh, HQ, presumably. Uh, I, I'm assuming that means they didn't know where it was before. That it's supposed to be this hidden compound, this secret, hidden gang territory for the Death Cult members? I'm not really sure I understand, because, as you'll see in a bit, they clearly have gigantic signs all over the place basically saying, hey, Death Cult lives here. And on top of that, the signs are right beside a um, public transit line. So it's like, you take the bus and you just look out the bus window and it's like, hey, Death Cult lives right here. So I I really don't know how the Justice you're Department missed this. Year in the penitentiary. You're going away for keeps. Sentence is five years, lawbreaker. I really like the skybox in this level, though. It's quite nice. A lot of atmosphere here. You're gonna spend the rest of your natural life in the cubes. It up, Dread. You're going away for keeps. Easy with the cuffs, buddy. Sometimes the arresting does get kind of annoying because it's so much faster just to kill people. Uh, but you can't, obviously, to kill them or you lose your law meter. And one of the reasons why it's just I have to arrest them, aside from the objective, is to get points and points at the end of your mission give you a score, which unlocks a bunch of stuff. And I'm trying to unlock the um, arcade mode. Each level you complete unlocks an arcade mode, or an arcade level. So, you don't unlock it if you get the rookie rank. And I usually end up getting rookie rank the first time I play these, these levels um, before recording, just because I don't know where the hell I'm going, and it just takes me a lot longer. So just explore and dick around. You're gonna spend the rest of your so I just have to do the, the levels over again a couple times to get anything but the rookie rank. Which actually isn't that easy when you're trying to show the game off too. Here's another Death Belt member with a different kind of gun. This was also the gun in my arcade level, in the Block Wars level. The laser cannon thing that I picked up, and I really hated it, so I'm not even going to pick it up. It is a slow-firing piece of crap. I don't really know... I don't really know how it would be useful. I mean, if, I, I'm assuming you can charge it up for a super powerful attack, but it takes so long to charge it up, and it's just such a slow-firing weapon that I will not even bother with it. I mean, why bother when you have... I have 45 clips with this machine gun. That is so many bullets. That is all of the bullets. Oh man. These guys are fucking up our judges. You're going away for keeps. Crucified. A medic judge. That is messed up. So trying to figure out what I gotta do again. Making sure I've done all my secondary crap. Don't move, creep. I don't believe you can arrest the uh, the death cult members in the leather outfits, the black ones. They have the machine guns and the laser cannons. I don't think you can arrest them because they don't seem to give up ever. So it's just you got to kill them all. That doesn't seem like a very good campaign strategy. Join us and die. I mean, I guess if you're the death cult, then that's kind of your 
with your end game, but come on now. Get a PR person. So I finally got some more ammo for my lawgiver. I hope it won't last too long though, because I love explosive rounds. So, um, secret death called base. There's a zoom, a zoom mono station. Um, and there's big death cult banners just hanging all over the place. And they even have, like, three judges crucified right in the site of the train. So, how did nobody find this place before? And can they be more obvious? They probably could. This is the Dread Universe. I'm sure they could be even more crazy and weird. Stuff in a box. I love my stuff in a box. God, explosive rounds are the best. Really wish there was an easier way to get ammo for your lawgiver. Greetings, fellow worshippers. This is Necrus, your high beast. At last, Judge Death and his lieutenants are free. Free to purge this planet of its greatest sin. Life itself. Ooh, that doesn't sound good at all. Attack, that sounds very bad. as I was saying, it's, it's really hard to get ammo for your lawgiver if there's no judges on the level. Even if there are judges, it's kind of hard to get it sometimes because unless you kill the judges, they won't drop their guns. And that's, that's usually frowned on when you're a judge yourself. You're taking the big ride. Death is coming for you. Pretty good level all around, though. I like the design of it. I like I like fighting death cult members too. It's fun to fight humans in this game, a lot more than vampires, at least so far. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be more really crazy, wacky, weird enemies and enemy types, but I like fighting the humans more than the vampires. My only gripe is that I can't light these guys on fire without taking a huge hit to my law meter. And I'm almost out of bullets again. Sad. And that was it. That was my last law giver shot. Good thing I have 77 clips for my machine gun though. Jesus. Given how many bullets are in a clip, I have like a thousand bullets, at least. I don't even know. I actually died quite a few times in this level, trying to play through it the first time, because these enemies do quite a bit of damage with the uh, laser cannon gun. There's just so many of them. I don't believe the grenades work on the uh, the leather ones. The grenades work really well on the hoodlums and the uh, death cult members, the normal ones, but not these guys. Oh man, we're too late. And we have a new enemy guy. I don't know what he is. He kind of looks like a mix between Gordon Freeman and Postal Dude. Kind of. He's got this weird ass hook claw arm thing. I'm not actually sure what it is. The dark judges have taken physical form. They'll be at the height of their powers now. I'm afraid that's not good. Dread. There's trouble at the Rider Mega Mall. We need you there ASAP. 
What? Dark judges are free. Why am I going to a mall? Come on. Sounds like a bad idea. What? God damn it. God damn it, Hershey. I need to stop the dark judges. I don't need to go to a fucking mall. You have an entire justice department. Send some other judges. God damn it. Well, I will see you next time.